Today, Cooper and I are reviewing the only signature model currently in Taylor Guitar's lineup, the Jason Mraz signature model nylon string guitar. It's gonna be groovy. Check it out. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our spring store link below for some custom designed new t-shirts and other stuff. So pretty cool. Jason Mraz, you a fan? You know, I can't say that I'm a huge fan, but I know the songs. I mean, I don't dive in but I know that he's got like a rabid fan base mm -hmm. of people. Uh, some friends of mine just saw him in Austin and the crowd was going insane. I think his live shows are pretty awesome. Yeah. He's actually one of the better performers. You know, there's bad performers, like yeah. live shows kind of now, just go listen to the album, but he's a really great live. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool guy. I'm a fan, um, on, particularly with certain songs. I think his songwriting is, is very creative. Mm -hmm. I think he would say that his guitar playing is pretty good, but his songwriting is, you know, really where it's at. Um, and so, yeah, I really enjoy his songs. My, I'll tell you this, we saw him at the NAMM show. Uh, he was at one of the breakfasts one morning talking about things and receiving some kind of award. I don't remember if Jason sees this. Sorry, I don't remember what it is, but I appreciated everything that you said. And he had a really cool Sure jacket on. It's like a Sure microphone bomber jacket. Where do I get one of those? You have to be That's pretty cool. famous yeah. and have a signature model guitar. I guess so. Um, but I took a photo and sent it to my son and he was ticked off because he was a, he's a big fan. He's like, yeah. that's not fair. So, but this is a pretty cool collaboration between Mraz and, uh, Taylor. And it's the only signature model Taylor currently has in their lineup. Yeah. I think that's kind of high praise too. Cause they don't, I mean, they've got a pretty esteemed lineup, you know, of yeah. their past signature models and stuff, but it's cool that it's a nylon. That's something a little less common. And Taylor's on I mean, there's some really cool nylons, but this is yeah a nice one. It's interesting, sure. too, because, I mean, I've seen him playing Taylor guitars for years. Yeah. Um, it, when he first started out. I mean, he's from Southern California, San Diego area, so it makes sense that he plays Taylor guitars. Uh, but it's interesting that he would choose a nylon. Yeah. And he uses a nylon. Yeah, I think probably the most famous song that I can think he uses nylon on is 99 Million Miles. He's playing nylon on that, so pretty cool. Um, and I don't know if you know this, there's some Taylor lore regarding Jason Moran. So he's had a good relationship with the company for a while, and years back, he was playing in their NAM booth, and he was being accompanied by a friend of his who was a guitar builder named Andy Powers. Wow. And that's how Andy kind of, if I understand the story correctly, that's how Andy kind of reconnected wow. with Bob Taylor and... You know, the rest is history. As they they had to give this guy a signature on yeah, Just for that. I mean, like, hey, on, thanks yeah. for bringing uh, Andy around. Here's so, your signature guitar. Appointment wise, if this were in a numbered series, what would you say? So, this is based upon an NS72 CE, which is a model they technically don't make anymore because now the nylon series just align with the regular numbered mm -hmm. series. So, this would be like a 712 CE in. Yeah. Uh, but it's not. Um, so, this is more like the older nylon series that they used to make, um, making it cedar and rosewood. Cedar and rosewood, yeah. great combination for a nylon string guitar. Yes, you know? classic. What do you think about the inlays? Inlays are very different. So it says Be Love, which is very mraz -esque. You gotta do it. Um, you know, and uh, it's got his circle and triangle uh, because Illuminati confirmed. No, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I used to, but I don't remember. And then he's got a horoscope sign uh, that are inlaid in Cyprus and Granadillo and surrounded by Koa on the rosette there. It's very cool. So yeah. I have to ask you, what is your sign? I'm a scorp. How about Scorpion. you? I'm a velociraptor. Because <laughs> <laughs> none of them are real, so I get to pick whatever I want. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that, let's, <laughs> We're going to establish this channel as a anti-astrology channel. As there well. we go. Love astronomy though. So, um, but it's very cool aesthetic going on with this guitar. You've got beautiful tuners up here with the ivory buttons, uh, mahogany neck, ebony 
fingerboard and bridge typical of Taylor. And the combination of cedar and rosewood, is, like you said, it's kind of prototypical for a lot of classical guitars. Yeah. What it gives you is a lot of uh, sustain, rich overtones. You've got all of that depth and, and brightness of rosewood, but the cedar allows you to play with a real light touch and have really good volume and warmth out of a nylon string guitar. Yeah. I mean, it's like all the really high-end classicals that we see most of the time are going to have cedar or rosewood. Mm -hmm. I like that combination, and I like that they chose it because it kind of calls that. But then tone-wise, for poppier stuff, I think it works really great too. Playing it today, and since we've gotten it, um, very like warm, soft kind of sound, but still projects nicely. Yeah, this isn't something that you typically see in a lot of stores, um, so it's pretty cool to have it. And it is kind of gig ready, so it's got the cutaway design, and it has an ESN pickup system, which is Taylor's nylon pickup system um, that's in it. It's a really nice kind of gig ready to go thing. And because it's something that you don't see that often, I think it's made in, in lower numbers, I noticed something interesting about the label inside. Check it out. It's got the signatures. Oh, handwritten. It's serial got a number. handwritten serial number. And I wondered, is it handwritten or did they just do that? But if you if you look at it, you can actually see kind of the light points or there's more ink in it yeah. dried. Like it's a handwritten serial number. And the signatures might be done by hand too. I don't know. Uh, maybe Jason's are. Maybe Jason will see this video and Mr. Mraz can you know chime in and tell us. But That's the thing that I will definitely tell you about this guitar is that if you are needing something that is a gig ready nylon string guitar from Taylor that has great feel, um, you know, and great warmth to it, then you know that's a problem, and this guitar is the remedy. Oh no, dude! I mean, it's all about the experience. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to think of an "I'm yours" kind of thing. I don't know, but I mean, I get it. I understand. What and you're it's doing available now. at Alamo Music. You don't have to go 99 million miles to find it. Yeah, I mean, and you could. Like you could get really close with this guitar and you could be like lucky that you're in love with your best friend, you know? Yeah. I mean, be love. That's what it's all you about. You gotta, you gotta be love. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound really great though. Yeah. All joking aside. So we're going to put through its paces. Cooper's going to play some really cool stuff for you. So you can see for yourself, this is something that would not just be for classical guitar. You can really play a variety of things on it. Yeah. So check it out and see for yourself. Thank you. 
so there you have it, Taylor's Jason Mraz signature model based upon the NS72CE. It's a cedar rosewood nylon string, small body guitar, and I think it sounds fantastic. Yeah, it feels really, really good. It's nice to have a nylon string that is sort of hybrid-y, not the massive two-inch nut of, you know, yeah. like a classical guitar. Um, and it's not, I mean, I like, it's weird how almost rare they seem, like something that's a nylon string that's not super geared towards classical music. I'll tell you why they're rare. More and more manufacturers are building these. Yeah. Um, Taylor started it years ago. Cordoba has a yeah. kind of hybrid fusion line. Fusion. Yamaha is making these. We know that there are supply issues going on. Um, and so they're making them and people immediately buy them. And so you can't find them anywhere. That's so there point. you go. That's, yeah. that's the reason for the, they're extremely popular. So I would say, you know, super popular guy, popular guitar. We have this one. However, it came to us through somebody wanting to order it. And so you can always remember if there are things in any guitar manufacturer's lineup, but Taylor, if there's something that you like, including Jason Mraz, that we don't have it. We have good reputations and relationships with our vendors. We can order it for you and we can get it. So if we don't have this one, you see the video, it's already sold by then. Let us know what we'll order you on because it's worth playing and feeling. And I think people would like it, yeah. I think if you're a huge Jason Mraz fan, you should buy it. But I think even if you are not buying it because it's the Jason Mraz guitar, the appointments are unique to it. It represents something that's otherwise not in Taylor's line, although I, should, I think it should be. Um, so it is the only kind of NS72 uh, CE that's available from them in the nylon string. And if you're if you're also a Taylor fan and you like that feel of it, and you're a steel string player, but you want something that's nylon, this checks all of the boxes. It's a really fantastic guitar. Yeah, very cool. Happy to have played it. I'm just feeling the neck again right now. It feels so good. It, yeah. It's really, really nice. Really well set up, plays extremely well. Yeah. So if you want more information about this, you go to our website, alamomusic.com. If it is sold and you want something, just chat with us, call or come in. We can get something ordered for you, even something custom made. That's available. Create your own signature model, so to speak. I've done that. Cooper might have done that. Um, you'll know more about that later on. So, you know, we'll see uh, a little intrigue for you there. It um, says be love on it. It, <laughs> it does not, <laughs> but very cool guitar. We hope you guys got something out of the demo. Again, if you want more information, visit our website. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, you turn on notifications and you like the videos, make sure to visit the link below about Patreon and become an Alma music insider in the description. And remember this at the end of the day, the very best guitar in the world is the one that is your own signature model from a small Southern California guitar manufacturer. Not so small anymore. No, Not really so it's the guitar that you're playing. So keep playing, keep watching our videos. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.